Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain how to solve kinematics math problems. Uh, first, the content and language objectives. Content objective is I can solve kinematics math problems. A uh, language objective is I can write my own step-by-step -step procedure for solving kinematics math problems. Uh, first of all, what is kinematics? Kinematics is the study of motion uh, without forces. Uh, so you can see crash test cars running into each other. Uh, you talk about terms like distance, displacement, uh, velocity, acceleration, time. Uh, these different variables, acceleration uh, is measured in meters per second per second. It's represented by the letter A. Uh, and what uh, acceleration is, is a change in speed or a change in velocity. Uh, displacement, uh, shown by delta X, is measured in meters. It's like distance, but it's start to finish directly. Uh, change in position. Uh, velocity initial, V sub I with the subscript I. Uh, it's uh, speed with direction at the beginning of some scenario, uh, measured in meters per second. Velocity final, same units. Uh, again, how fast at the end. And time, just how long, measured in seconds. Uh, so why are there five equations for kinematics? The key thing is there are five different variables, acceleration, displacement, velocity final, velocity initial, and time. Uh, but each of those equations, if you take a look at them, they only have four different variables. So one variable is always left out. Uh, so how do you pick which equation to use? Uh, in every problem you go through, there are going to be three pieces of information that you're given or clued in towards. Uh, there's one that you're going to be solving for, and there's one that is completely ignored. Uh, whichever variable is completely ignored, on the right-hand side, A is not used, delta X is not used. Uh, whichever variable you're ignoring will determine which equation you're going to choose. Uh, so just an example problem uh, here. How do you pick which equation? If you are given in a word problem, uh, velocity initial, how fast the beginning, velocity final, how fast at the end in time, uh, you're asked to solve for the total displacement. Uh, you're not using acceleration. And so you'd want to use the first equation uh, up at the top. To go through and to uh, actually solve this problem, just given the variables without a word problem, I've just identified in different colors what these different variables would be, where these different factors would go. I'll pause if you need a moment to look. Uh, when I start filling in the information that's given to us in this problem, I end up with delta x is equal to 1 half times the quantity 0 plus 23 uh, times 22. Uh, when I go through and uh, start to uh, use my correct orders of operation, uh, I end up with an answer uh, for delta x that is 253 meters. Uh, how do you solve these problems from start to finish? Uh, my steps that I take and yours might vary would be, again, one, to identify what's given to you in a problem. Uh, that can be the most difficult part for some students. Two, figure out what you're solving for. Three, figure out which variable is not used. And three is very important because it's going to help you, uh, four, choose which kinematics equation uh, you are going to use to solve this problem. Uh, then you'll plug in all your known values. Uh, use your PEMDAS, you know, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract, uh, the correct orders of operation uh, for algebra, and solve for your answer. So I thought we could take a look at one example just start to finish, a simpler type example. Uh, it says an object moving two meters per second experiences an acceleration of three meters per second per second for eight seconds. How far did it move during that time? Uh, step one, identify what you're given. Uh, and there are five different variables you may be picking out here. Uh, one, uh, an object moving two meters per second. Meters per second, uh, that unit tells you velocity. And this is at the beginning of a scenario, so it's going to be our initial velocity. Uh, second, it says acceleration of three meters per second per second. Sometimes they'll give you clues and say acceleration, which makes it helpful. Otherwise, again, I like to look at units. I see three meters per second per second, three meters per second squared, uh, which is a unit for acceleration. Uh, eight seconds uh, time. It asks you how far did it move during this time. So what you're asked to solve for is delta x, which very importantly means velocity final is not used. And so you want to use the third equation here uh, so that you don't have two uh, variables that you don't know that you're trying to solve for in the same equation. Uh, going through, I'm just going to take all the different values that we just had and plug them into this scenario. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of everything in the innermost parentheses. Uh, and reduce that, you know, find the product of those. Again, deal with all the factors in the parentheses. Uh, and finally, uh, add at the end to come up with my answer of 112 meters. 
Again, pause as you go through this video if you find something confusing, double check my numbers, see if I've made any mistakes. Uh, there are more problematic scenarios, though. Sometimes things come up that make uh, life a little bit more difficult. Uh, sometimes in this scenario, uh, what you're going to find is that uh, you do not have velocity initial uh, that you're solving for in this scenario that you want to figure out. Uh, you don't have it isolated in this equation on the left-hand side all by itself to start. And so I just ran through this problem to kind of show you, you know, how you would use, again, your PEMDAS. Uh, the kind of order of operations and your goal is to isolate the variable that you're solving for uh, so that you can come up with your correct answer. And so sometimes there's a little more algebra involved uh, when the item you are solving for is not uh, on its own side of the equation already isolated for you. Uh, the more complex problem that you run into sometimes involves time. Uh, you won't encounter a whole bunch in this class, but uh, in other courses you may. I, and so just completing an example, setting up in a problem uh, using these data, uh, what you'd see is that in this problem, we end up with a scenario where we're solving for time and time squared in the same equation. And so you're not going to be able to just uh, reduce and solve uh, as we have for other examples. Uh, what you'd have to do in this scenario uh, is write out uh, this equation in the standard form. So reduce, you know, PEM does all that stuff and put it in an ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero format. And then you have to use the quadratic equation to solve. And so I just thought I'd run you through this process so you can take a look at how I solved this one uh, so that you can replicate this if necessary. Uh, so what I did is just uh, simplified this problem. I wrote it in that ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero standard form. And so I came up with values for a uh, that is one, for b that is 23, and for c, uh, that is 4,483. Uh, and so then what I could do is plug those values into the quadratic formula. And when I do, I come up with uh, two answers uh, because we have the plus or minus here, uh, 7.31 or 0 0.68 seconds. Uh, that's the end of this video, uh, explaining how to solve kinematics equations. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to stop by during our homework help hours or period 1A. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.